One of the hardest things to do is break ties with a narcissist. You're constantly thinking about them. You still feel this pull towards the narcissist. What you want to do is just talk to them and get some type of closure and understanding. But why is it so hard to achieve this? This is what we're going to be talking about in the video. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about why it's so difficult to break ties with a narcissist. They're constantly on your mind, you're overthinking, they're interrupting your day, you can't sleep, you can't eat. Well, what is this all about? I mean, this is just a breakup from a relationship, but you are finding yourself in a situation where you cannot break ties with this person. And let me tell you, my friends, this isn't easy. But once you have understanding, you'll know why it is so hard to break free of them. But it's not impossible and it can be achieved. But before I get into the video, I just wanted to mention really quickly that I do go live on this channel. And if you are interested in joining the lives, I mean, guys, just, just come along because it's absolutely free. Um, and they happen every week on this channel. And if you have a question or there's something that's on your mind, I would say join the live. Join the live because there is a supportive community and I will probably be answering your question as well. So if you want more information, please see the description box below, but also do check out the community tab because I post information and when I'm going live on there. So why, why, why? Seriously, why is it so hard to break ties with a narcissist? I'm going to explain this in the video, but also I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to add like tips on what you can do. I feel like if you have understanding and you're not in the dark on why this is happening, this will help you to kind of like move forward and be able to kind of reclaim your life. Now, one thing what I will say is it is, it is possible for you to move forward from this and live your life okay the way that you want to and what this what you need to know or what th is important in this bit is that you connect back to yourself okay this is what ultimately has to happen but before you are able to connect yourself and have an understanding of this you need to know why this has happened why this is happening and why the narcissist does this it's like they hold you prisoner even after they have left they are holding you prisoner so I'm going to explain this the psychological way but also the spiritual way as well because I think that is also important in this because this it basically it's both aspects that keep you stuck and keep you prevent you from being able to move forward. The first thing that you need to remember is what you're experiencing is something called a trauma bond which means that you are emotionally and psychologically kind of bonded to this person because of this push and pull effect that you would have gone through in your relationship with the narcissist. This push and pull effect, okay, where you're not getting your needs met fully, okay, this is something that would have mirrored or something that would have been familiar to you in your childhood. So it becomes kind of like normal, so to speak, because this is what would have happened in your childhood. Now it is playing, playing itself out in your adulthood. Okay, so this is for you to reclaim this, okay, and take control over this because a trauma bond, yeah, it is difficult, it is challenging because your thoughts are on them all the time, thinking, wondering, like, oh my God, I can't stop thinking um, about this person. But what you have to understand, okay, is why? Why are you still thinking about this person? Because you're start trying to still get answers. You're trying to get answers into why this has happened in your life. The truth of the situation is, is because the narcissist has traumatized themselves. And what they're doing is they're triggering you, okay? So it's triggering your fears of abandonment, of rejection. Narcissist hasn't rejected you. They haven't abandoned you, although it may feel like they have, but they haven't. Actually, the reason why the end of this relationship has happened is because you didn't conform. You didn't do something that you were meant to do. So what the narcissist is doing is punishing you. Okay, and so this is what you're used to because 
you're used to conditional love. So when you don't conform, when you didn't conform as a child, okay, you were punished. And this is the same thing. You've not done what the narcissist has wanted you to do because you're like, no, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. Or you've realized that something isn't right. So what you're doing is you're thinking, I'm not going to conform. This isn't right. So what you've done is you, you've taken control, you've taken a stand and you're thinking, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. So that's why it's really important for you to recognize that the reason why the narcissist is left or they're doing the silent treatment and you're feeling like this is because you are being punished. The narcissist, do you know what? If you allowed them to, they'll come back. If you're going to let them in, they'll come back. Believe me, because this is, this is just a game. This is a mind game. All right. So they're punishing you because you did not do something that they wanted you to do. But what you're doing is you're internalizing this and thinking that you're this bad person. And this is why this is happening to you, that you can change this in some way. No, no, you don't need to because this is triggering you, but you haven't done anything wrong. So you're constantly wondering why, because you've not had closure. The closure is, is that this person is traumatizing you. Basically, chemically, what is happening is you've got cortisol, you've got adrenaline, you've got oxytocin, and this is all being mixed around in your mind. And, and this is why you're feeling these highs and lows all the time. You're trying to figure out a, a way to understand this, why this is actually happening. But the truth of the matter is, is because this person is playing a psychological game with you. They want you to feel bad so that when you're feeling bad, when you're in fear, when you're feeling anxious, when you're not feeling yourself, okay, you feel a little bit vulnerable. You can't think for yourself. You can't think the way that you normally do. And you're not going to make decisions that are congruent to you, or that are authentic to you. You're going to make them out of fear. So this is why the narcissist is playing this game, because this is what was done to them. This is how their parents made them feel. This is how their parents treated them. Okay, so then that child is being forced into submission because if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, then you're going to be punished. And the narcissist is doing this to you. I mean, seriously, like, are you going to allow this person to treat you like this? This is a game. I promise you this is a game. This isn't because you are an awful person. You've done, you've done this wrong thing to them. You haven't done anything wrong. It's literally because you haven't done something that they have wanted you to do. And who are they to decide how you should behave? Look, if this was a loving relationship, surely you would have been able to have your own free will. This would have been accepted this would have been okay you know for you to have free will but you don't the narcissist doesn't want you to have free will they want you to conform that's control they want to be able to control you this isn't a healthy relationship like if someone loves you they're not going to do that to you so when you're in this mindset when you're thinking like this this is why it's you're stuck in fear this is why it's really hard for you to break free. Is it because you're feeling vulnerable? You're upset. You're internalizing this and thinking that you're the one to blame. You're not. So if that is the case, okay, so what you have to remember is you make your own closure. You come to your own understanding and realization that this person isn't healthy and they have not given you what it is that you need. They've not allowed you to have free will. They've not even come to you and tried to discuss this. If they were really upset, why are they, why aren't they discussing this with you? Why are they not talking about this? This is a normal, healthy thing to do, but no, they remove themselves from you because they want you to feel this way. This is done especially so that you feel like this. And that is what you've got to remember. So the way that you break free from this, okay, is take this as the explanation. All right, that they want to control you. You don't want to be controlled. Nobody wants to be controlled. You know, even a pet, an animal doesn't want to be controlled. Okay, you need to have your own autonomy. You need to be able to make decisions that are right for you. Okay, and if this person is healthy, then they're going to respect that. But they don't respect you, do you? Do they? No, they want you to conform. And that is the problem here. That is why this is happening.
Why have you got, why have they got to ignore you? Why have they got to remove themselves from you? There's no point. Why are they not talking to you? They don't do this because you're not allowed to have your own autonomy. You need to be gaslighted into submission. This person isn't healthy. And I, and the thing is, you wouldn't feel like this if they were, all right? From a relationship, you know, from a healthy relationship, two parties talk about things. They explore why this relationship isn't working. And also you would have been given time to have this realization. But not with a narcissist, no. You get the push and pull during the relationship and then at the end of it, they disappear and they go. And you're not given an explanation, you're not given understanding on why this has happened. So it's almost that they remove themselves, they rip themselves from you and you pick up the pieces. Meanwhile, you're probably seeing that they're living their best life, they're going out, they're having fun. Funny that, isn't it? Because it's done to trigger you especially. And so, how can you find peace? How can you understand this scenario? It's not fair because you're not given the choice to be able to move on, you're feeling stuck. And this is why you're overthinking, this is why you're feeling upset and this is affecting you every day because you don't have the clothes, you don't have the explanation. But once you understand what is going on, then you are going to be able to move forward. And spiritually what is happening is that you're energetically still bonded to them. Okay, so everything that you do, your sadness, your upset, the narcissist is loving this because they're still getting supply from you. Whether, whether you feel it or not, but you probably do, but whether they know or not, they're still getting supply from you. They know that they're making you feel bad because this is how they're controlling you by your emotions. They're making you feel awful, which is why when you think about it, when you are ignored or when you feel like someone is not paying you attention when you want them to, this is really hurtful. The narcissist knows this because this would have been done to them in childhood. They know how awful they felt. It's when someone removes their love from you. It is painful. So the, ch the child, the narcissistic child, okay, this would have happened to them in childhood. So this is why they know how you're feeling, yet they do it especially. That is sadistic. So you need to understand that the narcissist is doing this especially to you. And you need to break free from this. Okay, so you remove. It's almost as though you need to stop thinking about them and think about yourself. Put all the energy and attention on yourself. What do you like doing? Connect back to yourself. What do you like doing? Who are you? What is your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Go out, speak to people, be around your friends, people who you trust, who you love. See your family. Do things that make you feel good. Put some music on, you know, lift the vibration around you, around your, around your environment. But don't spend time overthinking about them, why this relationship didn't work. It's actually done you a favor. So if you are going through this right now, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. I've also got a mentorship and a journal club, which I post every Monday into um, the journal club. So please see the description box below if you would like to join. I've also got a Discord server, which is absolutely free for you to join. And is a community of like-minded individuals, kind of like a peer support. And if you would like to join this or access this, please see the link below in the description box. Guys, I want you to realize that you have more power in this situation than you think. So know that you are doing the right thing and it's gonna be okay. But put these practices into place and it will help you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.